Hey guys, Mike, Iron Trap Garage, and today we are at the Fall 2021 Moultrie Swap Meet. Moultrie is in southern Georgia, is a great swap meet. We love coming every year. One interesting thing about Moultrie is their car corral is probably just as big as their swap meet. There's a ton of cars for sale. Some of the cars for sale are like show quality cars. There's a lot of really, really neat stuff. So we're going to take you guys around and see what's here. And we also have some cool stuff planned for the trip. We're going to go check out a uh, pretty neat 1940 Packard. Uh, we're going to hit up some junkyards and make our way uh, back north and hit some stuff along the way. So let's take a walk around and see what's here. On setup day, but we got a never installed. She's Drake shiny. Drake grill. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty. And I picked up, there's some other smalls in the backpack. I picked up this neat Buick nail head. I think it's a 364 that was chromed. It's kind of neat. Ooh. She is shiny. Good looking fox. <laughs> I can see it smiling, Jay. Yeah.
Every swap meet. At least one grill. Or two or three. Why not? Hey guys, don't forget, today is Black Friday. Head to our web store after the video to order some merch. Hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, hats, beanies, calendars, the Art and Prints by Spike, all of it is on sale, 10% off at checkout. Use the code BF2021, it's right here. All right, let's head back to the video. We visited this killer junkyard that was in an abandoned elementary school, and we went and visited this amazing 1940 Packard that we will have a full length video on on Sunday. Just knock holes in the school to make a garage. Was this was this uh, like boat windshield? Was this added by the hot rodder, or was this by Rolston uh, Rolston? That I don't know. Not sure. Pull it out, take a look at it. Holy crap, it's heavy. Jason, you want to give him a hand? Sure. Like, really heavy. Just get this on, man. Ow. Original, there? original Duval windshield. Built when cars were made man, to last. Let's spin around. Put a set it in front. Stand it up in front of it. It's a heavy windshield. So That's an original Duval, I bet. Yeah. That's cool. Well, the grill is way up there with the hood. Careful with the minivan seats. Watch that truck door. And the light. Let's watch the light behind you. It's hanging onto the other lights. Do you want to move those seats to get better? Probably that seat's super heavy. You need to slide it a little bit. There you go. You want me to go up there and help you? Okay. If you need minivan seats, there they are. Wow, yeah, you can reach that pretty easy. Yeah. Having flashbacks to Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to say this, but this is a priceless grill. Huh? <laughs> now then. How far? Okay, you got it. All right. So he walked away, he was like, oh boy. No, I think he found some paperwork he wanted to do. That's cool. Those louvers look like just like the ones on the DeLorean. Mm -hmm. right, sir. It does. Oh, there's the other. I didn't realize the other side's here too. Yeah. The side I'm not as worried about. I, I mean, while we're up here, let's get it down for him. 
kind of feel bad being like, hey man, we got three three of the four pieces down. We can put the stuff back in the water. So. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm not really keen on climbing back up here to put this back. All right, watch everyone's eyes. To all of our viewers, this is why you have tall friends. Yeah. You have the tall guy to reach stuff and the short guy to crawl and hard to, hard to reach stuff. Okay, that's cool. Oh, that makes like cricket moves. That's neat. So what'd you buy? I didn't buy anything for once. Simple conversation at Moultrie, which is what we try and tell people is you talk to people. And that talking to a guy we bought some, some Buick stuff from. And Mike, of course, is like, hey, you got any old Buick speed stuff or anything? Actually, I have a Buick that came out of a 33 Ford back in my shop, but it was too heavy to bring back. So here we are. And Mike, I for once didn't buy an engine. Mike did. But we met the quota for the swap meet trip. Someone bought an engine. Yes, we always try to buy an engine. This is out of an old hot rod. It was taken out for a 350, and this gentleman bought it. And look how killer all, the tiny little fan. <laughs> that, that doesn't move any air, I No, bet. no. It was in a, in a 33 with a 6.2 intake and the finned um, oh. rocker covers, valve covers, the chrome crossover. Chrome valley cover. Even chrome engine mounts on it. It's got a stick shift flywheel and then uh, he's throwing in these, uh, these fin covers. And oh, also, and there's also the top, so all the carburetors yeah, there. Yeah. So, so, I bought a nail head. Yeah, and we got to look at some really cool cars. So, it's sometimes you don't need to buy stuff at the swap meet, you just have to have a good conversation, and it leads to buying other good stuff, which is how I bought that grill today, too, which yeah. as well, which is kind of funny. But Mike, Mike scored the biggest, I think, on this trip. That's so, now we got to put this in the truck. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> jealous. <laughs> All right, so we are back from Moultrie. I'm here at the warehouse. I got uh, the little bit of stuff that we got unloaded. Uh, the swap meet was a lot of fun. Uh, we found some neat stuff. We didn't find a ton of killer stuff, but found one awesome thing for myself, that Buick. And we found a few parts that we needed for some other builds and some stuff to resell. So let's take a good look. So 36 uh, inner fender splash pans. Uh, we had a bunch of these from Pittsburgh and we've been selling them pretty well. So we picked those up to resell. Uh, 46 Ford rear radius rods. Are they cheap enough? We'll grab them. Uh, we'll hang on to them for a future build and they're always good to have laying around 51 Merc skirts the price is right so we had to grab them it's really really neat Buick intake chrome Buick intake this is off a 364 nail head chromed uh, you don't see these very often the four barrel 364 intake was hard to find as is chrome makes it a little bit more desirable so I picked that up uh, that'll be resold that was just a, a good buy I had to grab it Picked up this really, really neat 1939-1940 Packard accessory banjo wheel. I have to cut this leather steering wheel cover off to see what it looks like underneath, but the same rule that we applied at Hershey, $50 banjo wheel is a $50 banjo wheel. You have to grab it. Uh, we have two steering boxes, F1, F100, actually F1, F100. So those will both be for sale. We get calls a lot about F1 steering boxes. So they will both be for sale. Um, we grabbed some smalls here. Uh, this is actually gonna be for the 39. Uh, we got a coffin needle temperature gauge. We've been needing one because ours is an oil pressure gauge, oil temperature gauge. So it, um, it doesn't read till about 140 or 160, I think. So that'll replace that. Um, picked up some 33 uh, fuel gauge, 33 amp gauges. You can tell they are 33 because it is a 20 amp gauge. 34, they went to a 30 amp gauge, and this is the loop through style. So these are both the same. Uh, Matt picked up this motor minder, Stuart Warner gauge. It's pretty neat. I picked up this, the same guy that I bought the engine from, he had a bunch of NOS Buick stuff at the swap meet. I picked up this parking brake reminder light. It's an accessory, it's pretty neat. The box is a little beat up, but it's neat to have. Uh, 33, four headlight stands, taillight stands. A set of uh, reproduction frog mouth scoops. Matt picked up these cool 46 to 8 Buick taillights from the same guy I bought the engine from. Uh, we did a little digging at his house to find some goodies. Scored this 
really, really nice. I haven't opened it up yet. I don't know what the inside looks like, but the outside looks nice. Uh, open drive, uh, truck trans, uh, paid a hundred dollars for it as somebody was pulling into the swap meet. So that was a good score. Downside was had to carry it. <clears throat> Matt picked up this neat 32 grill. Um, it has some modifications done to it. It's really solid in the bottom and the sides obviously has been filled. So that's one thing. And then they cut off where the hood would mount and they added this big piece, with these studs on the inside. It was done old school. It's all brazed. So there's some, uh, there's some work done to this thing, but it's a pretty neat grill. And the price was right. And then of course, <coughs> as you saw earlier in the video, we scored this 33 reproduction grill. So if you look down the side, See how the chin sticks out further, kind of swoops out. That is a 33. It's really nice, really neat. Um, these are hard to come by. Uh, the company that makes these has over a year waiting list. So we figured we'd grab it and we might hang on to it. We're not sure yet, but super, super nice, like perfect. Then of course, the thing for me, this is like a 54 to 55 Buick 322 all dressed to the nines, chrome, everything, fin valve covers, uh, chrome valley cover, Hawaiian drag star, 6'2", with a killer set of Cal Custom um, air cleaners. I uh, included a stick shift flywheel, which are hard to find. Uh, it only had one header, so I gotta find another header. It's got this cool, like, sword dipstick, a bunch of chrome goodies, and the guy also tossed in a set of fin spark plug covers. I do have a set of reproduction, um, Wyand spark plug cover, so I'll probably end up using those, but he tossed these in on the deal. So this thing is really, really rad. This is for a someday project. Um, probably the next one after the Cabriolet. Uh, the Cabriolet is super simple, basic hot rod. Not gonna put a lot of extra stuff into it. This is for uh, something down the road that I'd like to build. So thanks guys for watching. Uh, we appreciate everyone that said hi to us at Moultrie. It's a fantastic swap meet. If you haven't been to it, we highly recommend the fall swap meet. Uh, it's a really, really good time. If you're looking to buy a car, the car corral is absolutely insane. There's like six, 700 cars for sale. Uh, it's a ton, a ton of cars for the size of the swap meet. So thanks guys for watching. We'll catch you later.